hello everyone mr solution here so on today's episode i'm going to be walking us through how to set orders on binance i've discovered that this is one of the problems traders new traders actually do face they've not understood how to set order either a buy or a sell or how to place either a buy or a sell order so the essence of this video is to guide you through how to do that using binance exchange this is actually the binance app i'm using the binance app so you can equally get yours from the from play store or apple store install it register your account and then activate it so once you you do that you're set for your trading so let's go to the market section okay this is the market section as you can see this is my these are my favorite coins i've already favorited these ones so that is why anytime i want to these are the coins i've actually been trading for a very long time now so that's why they are my favorite so anytime i want to do anything anytime i want to trade these are the ones i usually trade okay so that is it you can see here that's my favorite these ones say they're my favorite okay so that is it and then if you still go further you can still see other pairs other coins that can be paired with them okay the currencies that each of the coins can be paired with for here for instance here we have um we have here we have btc we have BTC here, we have Alt, we have Fiat, we have BNB, we have ETF. All right, so these are the various um, coins that various currencies that all, that all these altcoins can be paired with. All right, so like I said, these are my favorites already. So they are my favorite because they are the coins I've been trading for a very long time now. So instead of me trying to search for them anytime I want to trade, I just made them my favorite. And how did I do that? Let's say, for instance, um, I want to, let's say, I want to search for um doge coin okay doge coin eyes insert doge okay once that opens you can see the various pairs that doge is paired with okay we have usd the various currencies that doge is paired with we have usdt we have busd we have btc let's say i'm interested in trading doge usdt so what i have to do is to come to this place and stay it right once i start it it has automatically become my favorite okay i've made it my favorite alternatively okay okay you can see once i click on it it opens to this place and then i've made it my favorite so by making it my favorite what it means is that i open my app and then i don't need to go searching for it again i just have to scroll down to you can see it here this is the doge this is doge okay this is doge this is doge the one i just did now so it has actually become my favorite all right so i don't need to be searching for it anytime i open my app okay so let's say i've favorited i've walked us through that area and then and then um remember that please please bear in mind that what we are trading currently is sports okay this is sports trading and remember there is a difference between sports features and then margin this is actually sports trading we are not going to features okay the essence of this video is not um it's not about features we are focused centrally on sports trading all right so let's say i've favorited that and then i want to place my order let's say i have some money in my account i have some usdt in my account and then i want to place a buy order for doge coin what do i do i still come to that doge here i still come to the doge pair here as it is here so i tap on it i tap on it and i'm waiting for it to come up okay it has finally loaded and then i have to look at these charts okay what was it telling me this is actually a daily time frame um, this is my daily time frame this one day means daily so what it means is that each of these candles represents what happens in a day okay so i can equally alternate between the daily time frame on another time frames i could choose to use um one hour i could i could use two hour, i could use four hour six hour twelve hour one minute one one month one week and one day it depends on my choice and what i'm looking at I could equally choose 30 minutes 15 5 one minute so i'm actually trade one minute and um, time frame alternatively if i'm not okay with this i could just switch to my line charts okay trade off what i'm seeing on the chart on on the line chart i could just use the line chart to you know decide what i want to do okay but subsequently i'm going to be we'll be having a class on how to trade with line how to you know do your analysis with line charts 
everything it's it's it looks overly simplistic but it's not really that simple so i'm going to be sharing us sharing with us some of the secrets that will help you to trade profitably with line chart so let's proceed now let me say i'm trying to trade this with a 15 minutes time frame 15 minutes time frame and then um okay this is my 15 minutes time frame you can see what the chart is telling me okay we actually going down it's actually going down from my 15 minutes time frame let's just say okay now i've already bought i want to okay i want to buy so to say so i click on i go to this buy click on it um i'm waiting for it to load up okay waiting for it to load up okay you know there's really not much money here. just um um a few coins just it it's it's dollar so to say so there's really no this is just my trading uh, training account so i don't usually fund it except i want to um do some training with it i mean coach some persons with it so to say okay so here you can see that we have various types of others we have limit order we have market order we have stop limits we have oco so each of these orders has something it represents each of them has a representation now what is a limit order when you're choosing first okay look at the one we're looking at we're looking at limit order so what a limit order is is that say you want to buy currently the price of um doge usdt is this is the current price okay zero point uh, just cover this this is the price zero point three four eight six nine and all that and all so though it keeps changing okay so I want to use limit order then i do not want to buy at this rate i feel that the price is going to fall remember that this one this one is here in red these ones are the various rates that people want to sell this is the various rate that people want to sell and these ones here in green are the various rates that people want to buy okay the red are the sellers the green are the buyers all right so i want to i want to buy and i'm very certain that this price is still going to go below three 0.0034806 okay dollars i'm very certain about that so because i'm very certain so i wouldn't really be in a haste to buy maybe buy at these prevalent rates uh, the, this prevalent rate so to say so i feel it's going to go down so because i feel it's going to go down, i'm going to set my order let's say this is i want to set it at three four um three four or three three two hundred okay three three two hundred and what quantity of it do i want to buy let's i want to buy hundred so hundred of it my hundred hundred percent of my capital should be giving me two five six nine doggy okay it's two five six nine that's the equivalence of eight point five that dollars that i that is in this um train training account okay so that is it so whenever i have this kind of order whenever i do not want to buy at the prevailing market condition i want to buy at a lower price what i will be choosing is limit order sorry what i'll be choosing is limit order okay so that is that for the limit order limit order is when you don't want to buy at the prevailing market condition if you is going to come down lower or same thing is also applicable when you want to sell if your fee is going to go higher you could set it at maybe at your own convenient price okay or maybe i feel it's going to i could just set, set it at this and all that and then go right ahead and click on my sales okay so that's that for and um, that's that for um limit order okay another type of order we have is the market order okay when you are buying using a market order it means you want to buy at the price the coin is selling you are in a he just want to buy and get off the market but please remember that there is a downside to this market order and what is the downside the downside to the market order is that anytime you're buying at this rate market rate you're going to be paying what they call you're going to be paying what they call take a fee take a fee t-a-k-e-r take a fee okay take a fee then what is this take a fee when you are paying a taker fee, it means that, okay, for, for you to become a taker in the market, it means that you're trying to take market off the exchange, okay? You do not want to wait. You do not want to um, be patient to create liquidity on that very exchange. You just want to buy and get off and all that. So because of that, you'll be paying what they call taker fee or taking the market off the market or you're taking a um, trade off the market. You're tr trying to reduce liquidity in that market, okay? So that is what the taker fee, you're trying to take of that exchange so because of that you'll be paying some fee additional fee 
okay so that's why it's not always good to you know buy using market order but then the advantageous aspect of this is that if you're if you're trading with if you okay trading with a market order let's say the market is actually against you and you're very certain that it is still going to fall more so what you would do you could just use market order to you know exit the market you could just use market order to exit the market immediately all right so that it doesn't crash more on you also that the um, price doesn't fall on you so you see that the market order has an advantage and equally has a disadvantage okay so that's that for the market order and then the next order we have here is stop limit order okay stop limit what is a stop limit let's say um you want to okay the current price of um a coin let me just say let's put it hypothetically the current price is um okay the current price of this one now is three four eight three four all right remember this is a hypothetical price we are not saying that th that is what it is we are hypothetically we are just saying that that is the current market price all right okay so let's say that's the current market price and then what do you want to do you want to you want to you want to um buy at a lower price okay let's say the current market price as you said is three zero point zero zero three four eight three four that's the current market price but then the 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 if you look at the chart you will see that the resistance is at let's say is at um zero point zero zero three five okay but then you want to buy it at 0 0.0033 the resistance is at 0 0.0035 okay let me know if i can write it out here for um, more understanding more understanding okay let me just say okay current price is like okay, let me connote current price as cr current price cr is at um 0 0.00 0 0.00 three okay 0 0.003 please don't mind this it's just a free sketch and then the the you, you want to buy at you want to buy you want to buy at 0 0.0029 okay you want to buy 0 0.0029 and then if you look at the chart you see that it has a resistance at the resistance is at 0 0.0032 Okay, or three four okay zero point zero zero three four okay so now you don't want to miss out okay you don't want to miss out because there is a possibility that even though that the price that the, even though the price is currently at zero point zero zero three that there is a tendency that it won't come down again to that your zero zero two nine that you want to buy so what do you do you don't want to miss out so what you do is that you come to this um type you come to your limit order you put your stop your stop is the very price you want to buy remember you want to buy at 0 0.0029 you put it here and then when you come to the limit the limit you put the limit um if if you the limit let's say that's where the support is okay that's where the support if you that if once it gets to that um sorry not support resistance the resistance is at 0 0.0034 okay so you believe that once that resistance once it crosses that resistance it will go up so you come to this very your limit now put your 0 0.0 okay because that is where the um um resistance is okay so what it means is that what it means is that you want to like if if the price doesn't eventually get to this very place and it, it gets to the eventual it finally gets to the um to crosses the resistance so you want to enter that market so that is the stop limit all right so once you get to this very point your stop limit gets triggered that is for the stop limit then another order we have is the oco oco order cancel order some call it one cancel order one other cancel one order whatever it is but i simply call it oco order cancel order okay so it actually works on the same principle the same the, the difference between this is that um the oco order cancel order has both um, a limit order and the stop limit order this is the limit order and this one is the stop limit order the same thing applicable just the same thing we discussed initially okay like here now you put the price at let's say the price is as it's at 0 0.0034713 okay that's the current price and then um you want to buy at um, a lower price let's say you want to buy at 0 0.0033 okay 
so but then you've checked the support and resistance and all that you see that if it crosses and the resistance is at 0 0.0037 now if it crosses the 